Hello guys, welcome to um, Easy TV Presents Tech View, another episode. Uh, this episode is designed for showing you guys actually um, how you can clean up your SQL Server transaction log file. So most of the case, uh, sometimes whenever we create a database and maybe we don't have any maintenance plan set up for taking the backup, or maybe you have a maintenance plan set up, but for some reason it's not working and you will, like you didn't focus on it and it doesn't work. So what's gonna be happen? So the log gonna be built, log gonna be built up, build up like um, every day, every time, right? So, and what you're gonna see actually on your environment. That's what I'm gonna just show you. I'm going to share my screen. Um, so this is my all two node cluster all other environment. And you see here how many database I have running, but I don't have any maintenance plan backup setup. That means there is no maintenance plan setup and all those database is running for a long time. If you look at here, maintenance plan, there's no maintenance plan. So that means there's no backup running. And what happened? Now, if you look at my drive on this node, log file, the drive is almost full. And if you look at my other node, go here. Just expand it, uh, expand it. Uh, here, the same thing. So log drive folder is full almost. So the reason is happened because we don't have any log backup setup. So it can be happened. So now how we can trade it? Like, so this is, this is the node number three, which is running as a primary right now. And if you look at all of the um, database, go to the properties. In, go to the general tab and you're gonna see the log file and also this is not much, but the other one, because this application is not running, maybe this way. But if your application is running and you, the database is running, and you don't have any backup set up. In that case, you're gonna see like this. So properties. You see here? So the two gigabyte. This is one database. And uh, this is the another one. Maybe this one is also running. I didn't check because I set it up long time ago. So today when I was checking, I see uh, the drive is almost full. You see, it's, it, it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that. And so if you look at, go to the properties. That's not, not properties actually. Right click, cask, and shrink, file. You see here, it's not that much available. Go to the log file, log is zero. So in that case, you see here, your minimum is zero megabyte. But if you see here, you have like 30%, 80%, 90% like this, in that case, shrink action should be released and used space. But if you think you see here, like it's only 0%. But on the second option, it shows MB, minimum is 0%, 0 MB. In that case, you can reduce this one. So I'll show you step by step, but before you shrink any transaction log, don't shrink the data file because if you shrink the database and uh, the data file, and uh, if you have like um, like um, big database or uh, any application is like complicated application, in that case, you're gonna run on a lot of issues. So don't do that, but I just want to show you one thing, um, step by step, if you have this kind of issues. How are you gonna clear it up? 
So right click on it. And look at this one, 3.7 gigabyte free, right? But after I set it up, it's gonna be radio. So let's see, because I have a lot of database actually. First start with this one. So take a full backup, oh, sorry, not full backup, transaction log backup because transaction log is full, right? So backup and ELS, if it is C01, SQL DB, so TRN. So TRN is already set up. If you want, you can, if you want, you can set up a different name or you can remove it. Uh, just, you can say remove add. You, you, can, you, can, you can just locally save it or you can do it later. Okay, so basically, it's saved in G, right? G drive, let's see, what's the drive name? It's F. Okay, anyway, it's gonna be clear because we are, this one is for backup, but this one is for MDF and LDF. So LDF is growing and day by day is going bigger and bigger and bigger. It's because the logs is built up. That's why. Okay. Let's check it out. So you can save here too. Anywhere you can take a transaction log backup. So under the backup, you can say uh, SolarWin. TRN log dot TRN is the extension, right? Okay. And whatever you want, whatever the place, it doesn't matter. You can just, you should, you should just take it. Transaction log backup and hit OK. Usually the transition log shouldn't take that long, but this one will take a little bit a long time because of uh, the log is bigger. And I'm not sure how long it will take. So I'm going to pause the video now and after it's done, I'll I'll be back. So it's still running. I don't know how long it will take. But most okay, it's done. It says the backup of database so long is completed successfully. So it's done. All right. And also, okay. So, okay, all right. Actually, I, I just, I'm just trying to see. Uh, so backup device, if you have a backup device, it's the share location. That's what I'm just checking here. Actually, it's not the subject right now. So what we did, we take a transaction log backup for uh, this one. So I am uh, in this one, right? And also we need to take the backup for this one too, let me copy of this and then take a transaction log backup task. Backup. Uh, so CRN. Okay, let's let's remove this one. Add the same location. You can so dot. TRN, that's it, the TRN, and click OK. Oh, sorry, here, you have to change it to transition log. Click OK, it's done. OK, now this one, uh, copy, I'm just, because I don't want to type it, that's why I just rename it and copy it, now copy the name, that's it. So take actually my target is to take a backup. Go to the backup and remove it, add, and all the way in. 
just paste the name or you can maybe type and then at the end dot trn because it's a transaction transact oh, sorry yeah hey, transaction log trn okay but make sure you change the type to transaction log okay it's done so so far i take a uh, transition log backup for this one this one this one and now i need to do this one oh not this right click on it rename just copy this and i click task backup this uh, transition log remove this add all the way in paste the name or type the name then at the end dot trn that's it trn is trn oh no remove again add sometimes my keyboard it's a problem so dot t r n okay and click okay okay so we took all backups and the other these three i will remove it so how are we going to remove it let's remove them from the um, let's check the ability group okay so i'm going to remove this i don't need this okay remove from that ability group What happened? Oh, okay. Okay, a little slow. Okay. Then remove this one. Okay. Remove this one. So all tests I'm, I'm removing right now because I don't need those. And it's still in here, right? So if you refresh it, not going to show. Okay. And uh, for this one, database. Now, as you say, restore, so deleted, delete all connections, existing connections. Okay. Synchronizing. How can we synchronize? We already delete, right? Refresh. Do the refresh again. And from here, just delete. Okay. Delete. Okay. Delete. Okay. So all test database are already moved, and this is the application I'm I have running. Solari and also Land Sweeper. So this two uh, this four database is running application because the application is running, and also all four databases added on the availability group and also synchronized, right? And this node is a primary node right now. So we just take a backup and let me refresh this. So it's changed a little bit before it was 3.7, now it's 3.10 gigabit free. Now what we're gonna do, because it's gonna take time to remove, it's not gonna be happen like, within a click, right? So what we can do, now we can shrink. So first, start with this one. Right click, task, shrink, files, and then that, uh, so go to the log. You see 77%, in that case, you can leave this one, release and use space, shrink action, and click OK. That's fine. And it's not going to be shrink like within a click. It's going to take a time and go to the properties, go to the file, see here, and make sure if your application is running auto growth, you have to be very careful. You have to take a backup, uh, uh, transition log backup. Otherwise, this is going to be uh, built up and it's going to be increased if your auto growth is enabled. And also, you can maybe uh, disable the auto growth. Okay. Auto group. Now you're safe. And click OK. So we are done with one machine, yeah, one database. Now, second one, this one, right? 
right click on it, task, shrink, and then files. It's 99%, that means the default option release and use space, that's fine. Uh, sorry, let me check the log log also the same. So this option is good. Okay. And right click on it. Refresh first, actually, refresh and right click, go to the properties, and then file. And I'm going to turn off the auto growth. Auto growth, auto growth, auto growth, auto growth, okay. So the database is in synchronized mode. So if we work on one, uh, all database in one node, the other node will be affected by this. So we don't need to do like each and every node again and again, right? So now third one, right click, task, shrink, files, and then log, Don't do it the uh, uh, data file. So log log is ninety nine percent, right? And and also you see here on this space. So if if this one says zero percent or maybe twenty percent, in that case you should go with this option and and also look for here. If you see here zero, that means you can decrease this one with 5,000, now it's 34,000, right? You can decrease it 5,000, then do one more time, and then again, one more time, go the same steps and do another, reduce another 5,000. That's where you can do that. But right now I don't need to go with this because I already got here 99%. So it will be released with the default option. And click okay. And now last one, task, shrink, Oh, sorry, before I go there, I, I need to check the properties of the, this one and file. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of. So this, so login AG log, you see here, 34,000 is gonna be reduced, but it's gonna take time. And just, uh, the only thing is just enable auto growth, turn off this, turn off all auto growth, auto growth, turn off all auto growth, Turn off all auto growth. So those things actually work out for the small, uh, not small actually, if it is not a big database or it's just system admin level, like some of the application is required to have a database but it's not using that much the database. It's not like a bank database, like it's not a like accounting database, which has a lot of transactions, right? This one, this those database doesn't have that much transaction. Okay. All right. So now last one. What I'm gonna do? Uh, task. Shrink. Files. Make sure you select log, it's 93%, that's fine. So the default option should work and click okay. And right click, properties, file, and change the, and uh, like disable the auto growth. Okay, and okay, that's it. So, so far what we did, we take a transaction log backup, then we shrink the database and then we check the database file and we turn off auto growth. That's it, we did for all four database. Uh, now refresh it, refresh it. And just refresh, you see here, it's changed. Before it was 3.7 something a gigabyte free, now it shows 5.85 gigabyte free. And it's gonna be reduced. Like it's gonna take time. You see here, magic, right? And also this one, just refresh it. 
It's magic, right? It's magic. And also it's going to be reduced. Like you have to, maybe uh, we, ha we have to wait one or two hours, but we're not going to uh, wait two hours on this video. So this is how you can work with your transition log if it is built up. All right, and that's all, that's all. So everything is running fine, but we don't have maintenance plan. So, and uh, I'm going to create a new video. Okay, oh, this one actually I didn't delete, delete it. Okay. Okay. All right, so everything looks good. Uh, that's all for clean up the transition log if it is built up. And I'm going to make another video just for maintenance plan. How are you gonna set up maintenance plan backup? So thank you, thanks for watching this video. And um, if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel and also give a big thumbs up if you like this video. And also if, you, if this video helped you, share with your friend or colleague. Um, and also I'm inviting you to watch my um, next video, which is uh, SQL Server uh, maintenance plan backup. So maintenance plan backup, um, I'll create a maintenance plan backup step-by-step -step video. Again, thank you, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.